Hello, and welcome back to this edition of Daily Actives, brought to you by Bootleg Macro. I'm Dustin. We are looking at AMD once again. We are seeing some positive signs from AMD. We are still very bearish. We will show you that when we look here at the raw data. We can see, though, that the chart does look like it's getting a little bit better. We did bounce off that $100 level. We can see that the price is now two standard deviations above its 23-day moving average. That's what the red with the black lettering means. We can see it is above its 23-day uh, moving average here, too, which is 102, which is good. We wanted to see AMD either break back above and really, really hold. We were really sad to see it break below and then go down even further from 100 bucks. We do see that we've had a five-day change relative to the overall price return looking back. We can see that the 15 day and the one month have both flipped positive as well. The six month has stayed positive. We still have a chance to flip the three month positive, which is currently at a negative 7.87 rolling return. Not great, to be honest. We do have a go long in the short term. We don't have any additional signals corroborate or corroborating this flip, the short term, like slight bearish or bullishness that we're seeing. We do see that we've got a, we aren't fully bearish yet. We do see that we got one day where we did flip back to bullish in the short term. So we're definitely going to consider this to be bullish because we've had two in a row. Not yet have we had two in a row of the bearishness. The bullishness does exist in the intermediate term, but the bearishness is still very much there in the longer term. But look at the rolling sentiment. We do like to see that we do see a rolling or a rising bull. It doesn't seem as though this is necessarily a really strong um, recommendation from the market. If we look at the trading signals, yeah, we do have four of the bulky three, but we do not have any additional signals. We do have a swift bull back here, which I guess is good to see. But I still believe that we are showing negative signals when we are looking forward. Like that, the swift bull is a representation of this longer term bullishness matching up with the weekly longer term bullishness, but it's just not holding. It's really not holding here for AMD. If we go ahead and look at the overall chart, we can see that yes, things still look good. They look better than they did. This is still not convincing. The high of the very high of AMD that we'd need to break for it to really show us anything would be above what, 132? Can it break 110? That's the level that you have to really respect right now for AMD is when you break 110. Over 110, I'm probably in. If you can't break 110, I might want to go short AMD because it's still bearish on the short term, still bearish on the intermediate term, and still bearish or still bearish on the longer term. If we look at the volume, nothing really is convincing. I guess you do see a little bit of an angle up in this 15-day moving average of the volume, uh, which is the red line, but things are not really great. It, we do see a rolling over of the volatility, which I do believe that when volatility starts to roll over like this, this is when trend truly re reveals itself. We see that the correlation is currently positive positive and falling, but it does look like over the past three days, the correlation has kind of flatlined or at least kind of stayed the same and gotten stable around 0.48, maybe 0.5, which means that as this volatility continues to fall, the price is going to fall with it. So we want to be really conscious about what we see here. We're at the top of the range. I mean, the top of the range is 111. Top of the range is not super convincing and recently. I mean, the last time that we saw AMD hit the top and it actually have a, bear, or a bullish move was in May. Since then, when it hit the top here in May, it hasn't done anything. It's just gone down. It's just gone down. Anytime it gets close to the top of the range, it falls back to the bottom of the range. Anytime that it gets even to the middle of the range, since then it falls back to the bottom of the range. So we want to be really conscious of the fact that even though we're up here at 111, we probably feel great at 109. This isn't this isn't the type of thing that's convincing us right now. We look at the weekly. The only positive thing that I can honestly say is that the weekly, the bottom is still coming up. It's at uh, 91. We recently have hit down to a price of 96. And we essentially look like we're going to the top of the range. The top of the range is at 131. But again, we have not necessarily seen any big moves like this since the beginning or since October of 2022. We saw the recent high here in May of 2022 or in May of uh, May of 23, excuse me. And then we've seen a bottom here in September potentially, but we also could go lower. We could go down to 89.10. So watch your, keep your eyes on your fries, watch your stops, pay attention to where your positions are. If you're interested in buying a little bit more and probably do some at the bottom of the range, I'm not really interested in this at the moment. I'd be interested in shorting this, to be honest, but I'm happy for the bulls who got into it at 96 and are holding through 109. You got a lot of cushion. Now, if you look at the ultra fast sentiment, again, even the moves that we're seeing, while yes, there is bullishness above the 15 day moving average, it's still not above 50% bullishness. So we want to be really conscious, but tell me what you think. What do you think in the comments below? Are you long? Are you short? Do you like it? Do you love it? Is this even a good review? And before you go, subscribe to the new high newsletter. We give you 25 stocks to your inbox every single Sunday, stocks between five and $20 breaking out, stocks between one, uh, stocks breaking out to one year high, stocks breaking out to all time highs. It's a great list to get your trading started and put yourself in the right mindset to start looking for breakouts. I'll talk to you soon.